All right, in this video, I want to talk some more about ClickUp and how you can use not only the table of contents, but what you can do to arrange things if you're using different uh, sub pages or different pages and what some of the options are here for kind of keeping yourself organized. So some of this is automated, some of it isn't, but let's just kind of dive into this. So I can show you how you can put this to use and you know hopefully keep better organized inside of ClickUp. So first of all, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy, uh, and let's get into this. If you got other videos or, sorry, other questions and would like to see some videos on ClickUp, you can just search a channel for ClickUp. Uh, and I've got other information too about uh, daily routines, productivity, automation, all that sort of good stuff. So let's get back to ClickUp. I'm gonna hide that and come in here. So put some uh, just demo text in here. And what you normally have, um, if you're thinking of, you know, a table of contents that's clickable, um, when you bring up your slash commands and you start to type in table, you have this table of contents. Right now, there's nothing because there's no headings. So let's say I type a heading like backslash h1 and h1 heading and call this uh, section one. You'll see that appear there. Let's do another one, section one, or sorry, heading one, section two. And then to show you how this works with the subheadings, we're gonna call this section 2.1. And you can see that that's indented and this now becomes clickable. Um, it doesn't mean much since we're uh, scrolled all the way up, but you can see it jumps down and gives you a little flash so you see where you're going. So if you have a bunch of text on here, this can be really helpful, right? But what if you want to do different pages? So there's a couple ways to go about this. If you're starting with a kind of a clean slate here, you could create a new page, but you have two options, page and sub page. So what you want to do here probably is create a sub page. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this uh, page 1.1. Okay. And then you can use the breadcrumbs here to go back, or you can come over here. Let's go back and click on this. And you can see that we've now got a link to it. And this could be in line. So we could say like, this is some text that we have about, uh, and then we're gonna call this sub page and call it subtopic one and go back. Okay, and you can see that's kind of more in line and we can type after that. Now, this becomes handy. So I'm gonna give you another example here just so we can kind of flesh this out a little bit. Let's call this page 1.2, and then we'll come back. So this is a way you could kind of create a sub-page table of contents, if you will. Um, and you can also uh, you know, put it in line the other way uh, if you wanted to then reference an actual page, right? Maybe you don't want to have a sub-page for whatever reason. You can use the triple at and that way you can bring up all of your pages. So I've got a bunch of other stuff in here, but we could link to anything we want, okay? Now over here, I've already created some of this out as a test, but you can see that all of this was created as um, sub pages. So when we, if we close that up, we can expand again. So really handy. Whereas let's see what happens when we just create a page. We've now named it test, and you can see over here in the sidebar, it appears as not a sub page. So let's go ahead and go back. Uh, and that may be something you wanna do, but if you wanna kind of keep the table of contents, keep things nested in here, then this is the way you wanna do it. So let's do this again. Let's go into sub page, and we're gonna create another sub page. And we're gonna call this sub subtopic one. <laughs> All right, just so you can see. So it keeps nesting down. Um, and that's one way you can do this. So I find that this method here might be more helpful if you're coming in and editing a doc um, and maybe fleshing it out and you wanna have a dedicated page to a certain topic, keyword, whatever that may be. If you're wanting to do some organization, this may be more of the style you want to do. And again, you could add text before or after this if you need to. Um, you know, you could add something here like, um, I'm just gonna make up a word here, but uh, blog post outline like that and just add any descriptive text you need or it could be you know numbers whatever that may be but this is just some ways that you can go in and organize things a little bit better if you're using more than the one page and you're not able to use that table of contents so hopefully this will help you keep things organized and uh, get some more use out of the docs inside of ClickUp.